Hello and welcome to almost the last video about flow measurements. This time we are going to talk about thermal flow measurement. Thermal. Thermal flow measurement. This actually is working. It's working exactly like we said. Yeah. We heat up the, 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 or we can heat up our surrounding with our, with our, uh, temperature measurement thing. Yeah. Remember when we talked about temperature measurement, we said one possible error is to heat up the surroundings. And in floating water, it's not that extreme. In standstill gas, it's extreme heating up. Yeah. And this is exactly the method. I'm using here, yeah. Actually, I want this to heat up, yeah. I want this to heat up, and the only thing I'm doing is I heat it up on purpose, yeah. I measure how much I can heat it up. Yeah? If there is, so there is. tube with my flow yeah there is one measured sensor yeah, which is heated yeah and for reference purposes there's one sensor which is not heated to measure the temperature of the liquid itself I heat this up yeah on purpose and I measure the temperature difference yeah. if it's streaming fast it's cooled very good yeah, and I measure less temperature difference Okay. There's a video explaining exactly this. Yeah. You can watch it. We'll put again the link. Okay. Uh, that's one method. Yeah. The heating up method, let's say. And there is also another method yeah, where we do have one, one thing inside. Yeah. Looking like this somehow. There's a heated, I measure, there's a heated part, yeah, there's a heated part, a heated wire, and I do measure the, the uh, temperature of this wire, and I want to keep this temperature constant, and I do measure how many electrical power I have to put in to keep the wire temperature constant, yeah, heating wire method, heat start method. This is very common. These things here, they do have really high, pretty, really precise in time meaning. Yeah, this means they can measure highly dynamic flow changes. This is why those things are used in your engine. Yeah, if you have your engine, you measure. You need to measure how many air is sucked in by the piston. Yeah, how many kilo air is sucked in there. Yeah. And this is measured usually with this heating method. Thermal flow measurement. Like I said, watch the video as well. It's pretty, pretty good explained in there. So I don't want to make too much word here. Yeah. Next time will be the last video about flow measurement. Next time we're talking about a very sophisticated approach. We're talking about the Coriolis flow measurement. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.